So the national officers and district officials of the Trinidad and Tobago Unified Teachers Association is here at the Aramwes North Secondary School to lend support to our members as well as to ascertain the issues which faces this school, which face, sorry, which face the school. And th these issues have been there for a number of years, over three years. The main issue that they face is the closure of Block E, which houses a number of classes, physics, chemistry, biology, EDPM, technical drawing, and so on. And the school has been challenged to find spaces to have these classes. Coupled with that is the lack of furniture, desks, and chairs. Now, Block E was shut down because there was the theft of copper electrical cables three years ago. Imagine that, and nothing has been done since that time. And we at Tutor believe that this is taking too long. This is challenging our teachers, our educators, as well as our students. The school feels as if they are being abandoned, that the Ministry of Education does not um, take their issues to, to heart and have not been addressing this issue. Uh, um, coupled with those issues, uh, a number of other plumbing issues. They have the HVAC system, which was installed when the school was built. It only worked for a couple of years. When it shut down, the Ministry of Education, after, after probing by the school and having the school highlighted, would have installed some 150 split units. But guess what? Since those units were installed, they have not been serviced or repaired. And this is posing a challenge in terms of the, the comfort as well as the teaching and learning process because students can only learn in an optimal temperature. And when we have days like these where the sun is scorching and the temperatures are high, this poses an, an, another problem to our educators and our students. Um, the school does not have a functioning PA system, which, as you know, in terms of health and safety, they're supposed to have that in order to have announcements, or even if there are drills, that the PA system forms an integral part of that. They don't have um, their complement of school safety and health officers. We understand there are only one out of a complement of two. And these are the challenges facing the Arangwes North Secondary School. And Tutor feels enough is enough. The the school will be challenged um, during the term with having um, issues of in discipline. However, I can say the staff has been trying their utmost best, their deans, the administration, the security officers, as well as the one school safety and health officer. And Tutor believes that the full complement of these officers are necessary in order to have an environment that is conducive to optimum learning and teaching. But we are also understand, and thank you for bringing that up, that there's a makeshift lab on the school at this um, point in time, and the labs have not been addressed as well. And as you can imagine, when there is a challenge for spaces to have teaching and learning, or even any form of um, SBA is being done. Um, when there's that challenge, it will put the students at a disadvantage. And hence the reason we are here, because the staff has, has reached out to us and said that they are really, really fed up of what is taking place. It seems as if the odds are stacked against them in order to have these students who rely on education to take them out of the situation that they are in or even want, educate, um, want to have education as the vehicle to take them forward. They are being challenged and they are being set back. And so Tuta is bringing this to the nation's um, point of view, as well as we will be communicating further to the ministry. It is not for a lack of talking to the Ministry of Education, 
but this time we feel we need to bring it to the public's um, domain as well as to write the Ministry of Education on these issues. And any other reports of infrastructural issues at any other schools on this Tuesday of the day? At this time we are gathering information and I will let the media know of any reports that we have. We are also looking at students and teachers' um, attendance at this day, seeing that Wednesday is a, is a holiday. We are trying to ascertain whether there is any challenge in terms of that. However, in terms of any infrastructural issues, we are monitoring at this time. Okay. You mentioned shortage of dust and chairs and things like that. So can you can tell me quickly what is the actual reality? What is the reality in the classrooms? How many students there and how many have been? Okay. Accommodated or anything, but did speak to that? Mr. Dorcas is a dean at this school. Okay. Alright. Okay. Right. okay. So, good morning, here. everyone. Right, so there are challenges because what is happening? Because the entire block E is down, right? It is a challenge to find 25 classrooms within the existing structure, right? And of course, within, for the last five years, no new information in terms of furniture was brought to the school. And as a result of that, we have challenges in you now getting all the all the children in the particular classroom with the amount of furniture that is that is there. So we have approximately classrooms with 25 students and 15 chairs and tables, or space for 15 chairs and tables. So that has been an issue. The principal would have been writing to the Ministry of Education to inform them of this issue so that they can get the relevant furniture. But to date, nothing has happened with that. So where do the extra children sit? How do they make up? Right. So what we have people sharing, double sitting and whatnot in order for the teaching and learning to take place in the classroom, which is of course very unfortunate. And we cannot, any, and cannot have the maximum potential of that happening as a result of that. <laughs> Can I just have your, um, your, your name and your designate please? Right, so Adish Dwarka, first vice president of Chutta. Can I, can I also include with that, that this is a phenomenon that has been taking place throughout the entire country. About two years ago, approximately two years ago, the Ministry of Education would have sent out to gather information with regard to guests and chairs from at schools. And they asked for schools to present emergency cases. Schools would have done that expeditiously. And up to this point, no school has been outfitted with new furniture and um, desks and chairs that we are aware of. And to, to the last um, that we could recall, it's approximately 15 years that schools have not gotten new desks and furniture. Um, I, I know I'm cutting in, in and out, but so many, hopefully you can. Many you schools. can uh, mm -hmm, sorry? Many well, there are roughly. In terms of the schools, um, that was the entire school throughout Trinidad and Tobago, which is roughly about 600 um, schools, and not including ECCD schools as well, too. So they are challenged with the same thing. Principals um, and school officials have to become carpenters in the most end, repairing school desks and so. I have seen pictures where they would put brace along the legs, which is a health and safety issue because when students go in, in and out of the desk, they can't trip on it. So it becomes a health and safety issue while trying to keep schools running. Teachers, educators, principals, administrators have been trying their best to have the requisite amount of furniture. And sometimes, as Mr. Dorica said, two, three in, in a double seater and sometimes a single seater in order to get school running. That has been an issue over the years for our administrators and our educators. And just coming back to Arangwe's North Secondary, they are fearful that come the new academic year, 2024, 20, 2025, some, the, the, some of the subjects may not be an offering for their students because of the challenge of the spaces. Where are they going to put these students to have these, the continuation of these classes or the, even new, these new students, the new intake, to help them access these subject areas? That is a worry for them as well. What are those subjects? Well, the same for um, Block E, which would be Physics, Chemistry, Biology, EDPM, Technical Drawing, POA, POB, right. 
and the top, the whole tech head department. Yeah, tech box area as well too, as well as some, um, is there any, um, Papa? No, no, that's it, just the tech head and the tech box Okay, anything else you may want to ask? Oh, so, and, and with this term, with SBAs being um, due, as well as CXC, well, CSEC and CAPE, that is posing a problem for them as well too. So after this, we will send correspondence and have the, to have the ministry meet with us as a matter of urgency as it relates to this school, but other schools when it, it comes to infrastructural issues. Thank you very much.